Hi, my name is Rose Alice, and this is going to be my first little training blurb thing that I can show people if they want me to work their horses, and random stuff like that. So this is Chela, which is Aztecan for Crescent Moon, and if you look at her face when she goes by, she has a pretty little crescent moon on her face. Eight years old, has not been worked with. Never had a saddle on her back, never had people on her back. She's just very green. So right here, as you can see, I'm asking her to turn into me, and... She's not. So what I do is the second she turns away from me, I use the flag and I ask her to immediately turn back. And right now, I'm actually asking her to move forward. Um, some say chasing, but I don't like to think that I'm chasing. When you see me chasing, I will be chasing. <laughs> for... Even though she cuts the arena, I'm letting her cut the arena. That's not my focus right now. My focus is purely to get her going in the direction and to turn into me instead of turning her butt from me. So right here, she's going around nicely and I'm not asking her f for anything because she made a good turn. So that's just, you know, you can move. Um, when she tries, she tries slowing down to that gate you can see back there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step away from her. And you can't see it, but she went the wrong direction. She turned her butt to me. Um, so I'm asking her to keep going. She turns away from me, so I'm good. So I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her go. I'm just gonna let her trot on. I'm gonna let her trot on, canter on, whatever she's doing. Okay. That right there. Let me let me replay that. I'm gonna replay that. Um, what that was, and I'll slow it down for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put an extra slow motion. When she goes into the trot, or no, when she goes into the turn. Um. She tried to turn her butt to me, and I jumped sideways. What you want to do is you want to line line up with her point of focus that you want her to move. When I'm asking them to turn, I line up with their shoulder. Because that's like you're going to be moving your shoulder now. You're going to be pivoting away and going in the opposite direction. Uh, when she tried to turn to the fence and turn her butt towards me, I immediately jumped back and put my line of focus at her butt. And that shifted that away. And that gave her the opportunity to look at me. Um... Which is something that comes in handy a lot when you're working with super green horses and super responsive horses. Like, my horse Nike, that wouldn't work. She's not responsive enough. Alright, so there. She's going along. Uh, she's a spaz. If I don't ask her to stop, she'll keep on going forever. Forever. Alright, and you can see I'm using a flag. It's a really nice flag. It's not super loud. It's just kind of there. Um, I prefer flags to crops, or to whips. You'll see in a little bit. But so here... Master her turn, she turns her butt to me, so I step back. I get her attention to look at me, because the first step of getting them to turn towards me is to get them to look at me. Here, she's completely ignoring my pressure and walking towards the whip. There, that's me chasing a horse. They made the wrong choice. Because they turned their butt to me, they are not allowed to leave that side of the arena. I maybe give them one or two strides before I cut them off. I sprint to cut them off. And right there, she turned the correct way, so I kind of let her take a lap, a calm lap. And I'm asking her to turn. And there we go. So I drop all forms of pressure and I let her go. Normally, I don't look at the horses while they're going around. I drop all pressure, even eye contact. But that was a lot. So I decided to kind of, you know, keep on her because she will stop. Um, here, I'm asking her to turn. And... As you can see, she'll make the right decision. So she looks, and I keep put the flag on her outside. I, I like to try, and there we go. There, <laughs> that, that was just because she was running towards the center of the arena, as you could tell. But right now, you know, second time ever working with her, second time being lunge, her focus is just going the right direction, not staying on the rail. So here she stops. I'm asking her, but towards me, that's the wrong decision. So I cut her off, and I make sure I'm going to keep on making... Yeah that decision a bad decision until she like here okay I, I should have cut her off she's going too fast so now I'm just making her run um you need to make the bad decision way harder than the good decision like I don't hit horses ever I don't hit horses but I make the bad decision really hard on them I make them run I make them turn a lot and so they learn that easy is good all right so I'm asking her. I'm snapping right now, trying to get her attention towards me. And that's going to slowly become a cue. Uh, there we go. She goes away from me. Perfect. And then I let her run. I drop all pressure, and I let her go because she went towards me. I'm not going to cut her off. I'm not going to ask her to turn for a little bit. 
What a good girl. All right. So here, and butt towards me, up. See, she dropped that pressure. Right there was a really naughty move because she ran right through that flag, which was really naughty. I didn't appreciate that at all. Oop, that was a bad decision on her part. So as you see, I tried to cut her off as soon as possible, which didn't work. She got, she ran through the flag. And so I cut her off again. I have her, oh, okay. That's where she gets really naughty because she knows what's wrong now. At this point, she knows what's wrong and she knows what's right. This is me trying to cut her off. No, that was me chasing her. That was me chasing her, uh, making her run. It was the wrong decision. She was bad, so she's gonna run. And I'm trying to get her attention. Instead of walking towards her shoulder, I'm backing up. I'm trying to get her to give all of her focus to me and to turn into me in the center and look at me back up. And in sense, because it's a round panel and it back into the rail, she turned there, but towards me. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to ask you to turn again. She made the right decision. I'm going to leave it. And now I'm backing away from her. I'm giving her space. And butt towards me, even though I was backing away from her. She knows what she's doing. She knows it's wrong. And as you'll see pretty soon, she catches on to it fairly quickly. This was our first, our second time actually working on this. Um, and she won't look at me. You can't see it here. But she is not looking at me right now. She's not interested. And there we go. She's walking in. What a good girl. I pet her. Cause she's, you know, she's, she's being good. She's, uh, she's really attached to the horse in the back pasture. That's why she's looking back there. That's why it's so difficult to work her. She's really attached. Yep, so there, and I had her join up with me, and yeah. All right, so the next little video is actually going to be really special because this is after about 30 more minutes of working. So I set up the camera. I'm walking out. Oh God, I look like a fatty today. Please ignore that. I'm not normally this obese, but whatever. This is the same horse, same day, 30 minutes after I took that first video. Uh, right now you can't see it, but I'm kind of just trying to get her to move. She wanted to stop. Alright, so I get her to move in the direction I wanted to move. And I drop the flag. Do you see me just drop it? Alright. So, I step back, I open my hand, I snap, and watch her turn. And look how calmer she is now. Like, this is the same horse. I'm snap. There we go. She is getting it. She's picking up on it. She's focusing on me instead of the other horse. By the making the difficult thing way like harder on them, making the wrong thing harder on them, works. See, look, I open up, I step back. Here, she's ignoring it. Actually, you know, honestly, she didn't have enough space to turn. She cut in. I, I blame, I, that was anyone's fault. It was just a fluke. So I step back, give her space, and she turns. This is a big thing, is that I never want their butt towards me, ever. I never want them to turn the, fen the fence first. So I'm always opening my hand, I'm snapping, and I'm letting her turn in towards me. Um, which is really nice. I, I, like, I like this horse. She's really responsive, and she's really smart. She's just has never been worked. And when you take a horse that's eight years old who's never been worked, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. This is me backing up, trying to get her attention. She was running through it for a second, but she turns anyway. And that's her bad side. That was her side that she wouldn't turn on in the other video. So I'm really proud of her. Um, I'm asking her to come into me right now, which is where I, I pop a knee, I pop a hip, I lean down, I release all of my body tension, and I'm trying to get their attention. I'm backing away from her. But she's not listening, so what I'm going to end up doing is when she gets to this side, I'm going to open up my hand, and I'm going to ask her to turn. Wait, one more lap. I'm letting her take one more. But she's really focused on just moving forward, which I understand. I mean, it's a difficult job. So she's going. And so I'm going to ask her to turn. Watch, I open up that hand. And the second she turns, I'm going to drop all the tension and ask her to come in. And that's how you get a horse to join up with you. And keep in mind, this horse was not worked before I got her. She was not touched. She was never asked to join up. And now look at her. I mean, I was working her without a, a lunge up or anything. And I'm proud of you if you made it this far. And you guys are my favorite.
whoever's watching this, and I love you. Bye. Mwah.